everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back. Today I'll be showing you three looks with the new eyeshadow palette by Sydney Grace. It's the collaboration with Mel Thompson. I'm sure you all know who she is. The Tiny Marvels palette. If by any chance you don't know who Mel Thompson is, I'll link her channel down below, but I'm pretty sure you all know who she is. She collaborated with Sydney Grace and came up with this palette and this reflects her. I know there are so many other videos out there about this palette, so I won't go too much into it. I'll also link her video where she describes this palette in her own words down below so you can check that out. One thing I like to say about Mel is her laughter. If you've heard her laugh, it is a very genuine laughter. I mean, you can feel it inside. And that laughter is what I was drawn to. I mean, besides her beauty and her talent, but her laughter, it, it's very genuine. I also like to mention this right now with the fires going on in California, Sydney Grace is kind of near it. So I hope that we all could say a little prayer for them and for everyone around them so they can come out safely from this. It's just devastating to see this on TV. So we hope that everyone is safe there. But let's go ahead and get into this palette and here is the cover. It's a beautiful cover. The cover does reflect Mel with her love of insects and her love of tattoos and her love of color. And when you open it up, here are the shades and these shades are similar to what's on the cover. The greens and the purple and the red. So that is real interesting and I did play with color as you can see. This palette has 15 shades, combo of matte and metallics and shimmers and it costs $52. Now I know it is sold out, but on the Sydney Grace website, you can sign up with your email and when it comes back in stock, you will be notified. So again, these are 15 shades and they're all new except for one, this one right here, Scarab. And in the single shadows, it's Red Chameleon and it is a beautiful shade and I did a look with that one. Also did a look with this purple and with this green. Let me go ahead and swatch these on my arm. I love doing live swatches so you can see what it looks like on my skin tone. Let me scooch in and we have the first shade, Web. Oh, look at that. Next one is Tree Hopper. Next is Fire Butts, and I like that name. It's a fun name. <laughs> it does have a green shift. Walking Stick. And you know, I thought this would be too cool on my lids, but I kind of like it. It's kind of the green khaki shade. And of course, Scarab. Ooh, I love that shade right there. You can see that shift has a kind of a red-brown undertone. And I like the name Scarab, you know, kind of Egyptian. Then we have this peachy shade, Flutterby. Let me kind of build that one up a little bit. Here we go. And I didn't use this shade, BB. I kind of wish I did, but maybe in another look. Look at that beautiful gold shade. And this shade that I have in my lid, this green matte shade, Mantis. Look at that. Meadowhawk and Lovebug. Now for the bottom row, Jewelby, this purple matte shade, Marvel. This one's Death Moth, Bugaboo, and the last shade is Spider. There is Spider. So here are the swatches from the Tiny Marvels palette. Well, all right, let me show you the three looks that I did and I'll see you on the other side.
And here is the finished look. And the only shade I put underneath my eyes is the same one I put in my crease, is this one, Bugaboo. And yeah, I love the shade Scarab that I put on my lid. I know it's one of her old shades, it's not a new shade, but it's still a beautiful shade. It has that bluish green shift with like a red brownish base to it. And yeah, it just blended out beautifully. And I love the matte shade Bugaboo with it. And of course the inner corner highlight, yeah. I like this look. Probably should have used a lighter lipstick, but I think this one kind of matches a little bit with the Bugaboo shade. But you can go nude, you can go more red, you can use whatever lip shade you like with this, with this look. Well, all right, let's see what the next look will be. And here is the finished look. What do you think, guys? And what I put underneath my eyes is the purple matte shade Jewel B. I have to say I was pretty hesitant about using this shade on my lid because some purples do make me look like I have a bruise with my skin tone. But Jewel B is a real pretty lilac-y, pastel-y purple. And then placing web in the inner corner of my eye and also kind of bringing it in the center of my eye kind of made it pop a little bit. And the shade that I put in the outer corner of my eye, Spider, really do like this shade. It's not looking ashy at all. I was thinking about using a nude lip, but you know, today I need some color. Let's see what the next look will be. All right, with this one, I'm going to try this green shade Mantis. Already primed my lids with the Hourglass Eyeshadow Primer and going in with the Detail Pro by Sonia G. I'm going to go in with this shade Walking Stick. Oh, take the creases out. Place it in the outer corner. Okay, that's good. And then bring that inside in my crease. I'm kind of bring it out too. And I'm still just building this shade up. I need to be careful not to build it up too much. Then the shade will look a little ashy on me. Now going in with a smaller tapered brush, the Classic Crease by Sonia G. I'm going to go in this shade right here, Death Moth. And also placing that in the outer corner. Let's kind of build it up there in the outer corner for now. And then whatever is left, bring that in my crease slightly lower than the shade before. Then I like to look down to see the placement of that shade. Make sure it's in the crease. Because with my aging eyes, <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell. Now let's try this shade Mantis. And I'm using a flat shader brush by Sonia G. All right, should I tap it off? No, I'm just gonna press it on my lid in the center. Wow, that is pretty pigmented there. And just bring that up to my crease. Leaving the inner corner empty. Yeah, I have to say that the color you see in the pan is the color that you see on my lid. And also the color that you see in the cover of this palette. Yeah. Okay, I have to say the pigmentation with the shade, it is there. I'm going to go back in with Death Moth and just kind of build out the outer corner a little bit and blend those two shades together. What should I do in the inner corner? or even maybe place it on top of it. Let me do a little experiment here. Right here is Mantis right there. Let's try this gold shade BB, and let's just see how that would look either beside it or even on top of it. Okay, all right. 
Let's try this again. Let's go with Mantis right here. Yeah, I know this is a very scientific way to see if shades would work together. <laughs> let's try this pink shade Marvel. Marvel? Yes. And let's place that one there. Actually, that's not bad. I think I'll do that. I'll use that shade Marvel. All right, using a flat shade of brush and getting some Marvel. And I'm going to place that in the inner corner of my eye and just kind of maybe bring that to the center. And bring whatever is left over to the center of my lid. So it's not so overpowering. So I'm sure if I used my finger with the Sydney Grace metallic shades, it would just cover Mantis up. This kind of gives it a little sparkle there. Don't know if that color combination works, but we'll just pretend that it does. And let me finish putting the rest of my makeup on and we'll see how this one looks. And here is the finished look, as you can see. And the shade that I put underneath my eyes is the shade Death Moth. And I like this green shade Mantis. I was a little scared of it because it is a green matte shade and I thought, okay, it won't blend in very nicely to where it just looks like you just put a green shadow in the center of your eye. It's blending out very nicely. It blends in with the other colors. And I love that shade that I put in the inner corner of my eye and just kind of placed on top of it. It did make it a little bit more subtle. And for the lipstick, I had to use Puffin. This is Mel Thompson's. She collaborated with Christian Audette with this shade. And I love this shade too. I have to say, I love this palette. I love the shades in this palette. I was a little fearful of it because it is colorful than what I'm used to, but Sydney Gray shadows, they blend out very nicely. Even for a beginner like me, it works. So yeah, I love the shades in this palette. The Sydney Grace formula, they are sublime. They are beautiful. So you can see that it's blended all together. It's not like three different shades just together. They blend it out perfectly and the pigmentation is there. The color story in this palette is beautiful. And like I said, I was a little nervous about trying Jewel Bee and Mantis because they are a little bit more on the colorful side and a little bit more pastel-y. But I think they work. And I love this shade Walking Stick. It is a little bit more on the cool side, but I like that khaki color. And this shade Spider, I thought it would be a little bit more on the ashy side for me, but it worked out great for the outer corner. And you could make many more looks with this palette. I'm glad I got this palette and I hope they come back into stock real soon. Let me know if you got this palette and if you played with those colors and let me know what you think of the colors that I used. Well, all right. Thank you so much for watching this video of me playing with the Tiny Marvels palette by Sydney Grace in collaboration with Mel Thompson. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.